Sometimes timing is everything, and Elizabeth Omeregia has timed her gradual improvement from game to game to perfection, peaking in the final game in Group T to help her team finish top. The 19-year-old scored seven times against Larvik and displayed real versatility in the process. One-on-one -on -one situations, from the seven-meter line or while firing from deep, Omeregia can finish from absolutely everywhere. Come the end of the tie, she was crowned player of the game and as a result also becomes one of our three stars. Congratulations to both her and Ljubljana. FTC was able to secure two very important points to take with them into the main round. One player who really stood out during that feat was Zita Zuzhansky. Seven goals from as many attempts cement yet another stellar display from Miss 100%. Her performance during FTC's 33-28 win is another plus going into the main round because an informed Sita Zhuzhansky with her determination and drive towards goal and her clinical finishing is a serious threat to any defense in the next phase of the Women's EHF Champions League. After three years in the colors of Sevaov, Filippa Idain now finds herself on the other side of the court and seems motivated by the situation as well. An outstanding 51% save rate and only 18 goals conceded are proof of her invigorated demeanor. And with the help of a sturdy defense in front of her, she was happy to play her part and then some in between the sticks. Espier qualified for the main round in their debut season in the Women's EHF Champions League and the Swedish keeper can proudly say she had a big part to play in their accomplishments.